name? Uh, Patty. She doesn't look like a Patty. What does she look like? She looks more like a Maggie. Well, you know what? It's been so long since I've called her anything, I'm sure she won't mind if you call her Maggie. Okay, kiddo. Get your books. I'll take you to school. It was nice of you to bring that stuff, Kate. I was just collecting dust. You're good with her. You're lying, but thanks. Well, even if I am, it's just because I know I can leave in 20 minutes and rejoin my selfish life already in progress. You're too hard on yourself. I thought that was your job. <laughs> what? Nothing. I, uh, I miss your sense of humor. I miss yours. I, I mean, uh, not that people around here don't have a sense of humor. They do. It's just, uh, it's more like joke-telling humor. It's, it's okay, but... Uh, right. It's not the same. No, I, I hear you. Well, if it's any consolation, I miss you missing my humor. You all set? Okay. I'll see you. See ya. Okay. Pound your erasers? Alex, what are you doing here? Just stop by to say hi. Oh, I'm glad you did. It hit me about 3 o'clock this morning that in all the excitement yesterday, I forgot to thank you. Forget it. I was glad you called. I also wanted to ask you something. Sure. Some people have put together a reception tomorrow night to formally announce my candidacy. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be my date. Sure, I'd love to go with you. No. Ava, I'm not asking you to go with me. I'm asking you to be my date. I, I know we've had this conversation before, and I know you're still confused about Caleb. All I'm asking is that you just let go a little bit and see what happens. Okay. If nothing's there, nothing's there. I, I'm just hoping you'll be open to the possibility that something may be there. Alex. And... I said yes. Yes? Yes. I'd love to be your date. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> Great. Great. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> Mom, it's just a date. A date to a party where Alex announces his candidacy is a statement. Don't you like what he stands for? I don't know what he stands for. When I hear what he stands for, I decide if I like it or not. Alex has wanted this for a long time. I'm glad for him. I hope he does well. Okay? Okay. So those boys from the INS giving you any trouble? They're just doing their job, Sheriff. Yeah, well, there's a way to do it and there's a way not to do it. If they give you any trouble, you let me know, right? They're gonna deport her, aren't they? Over my dead body. Always start a war first. I know border jumping is a problem, but it's not always black and white. Maybe Alex can help change that. Do you think he can? I don't know. The... Angela has really affected him. There's a passion behind his words I, uh, I've never noticed before. I guess I just never really thought of Alex that way. You're home? Yeah, I just, uh, just got back. Got plans tonight? Well, I was thinking about going to Alex's thing, but uh, I haven't decided yet. You should. You guys have been friends a long time. I'm going into town to grab a bite. Have fun if you decide. All right, uh, put another bar on the deck, because it's going to be a full house. Can I help you with something? No. Someone has screwed up my reservation, but I'll handle it.
The next century is going to bring whole new challenges demanding a break from politics as usual. I like it. The shirt or the tie? Oh, the speech, from what I heard of it. Here, I used to tie your father's tie. He couldn't tie his own tie? Oh, he could, but I could better. Right. So, what happens if you win this election? Will you make a career out of politics? I think so, yeah. Well, you know, politics is compromise. And the Wyatts are not known for compromising. Well, maybe the Wyatts need to learn. Besides, when did compromise become such a bad word? Well, it's not. Except too much compromise is, just like too much ambition can ruin good intentions. You trying to warn me? I just want to make sure that this is what you want. What's best for you, that's all I want. I want this, Mother more than anything else in the whole world. Okay. Mother? Yes. Do you think Dad would approve? Oh, honey, I know he would. Tonight, we stand at the dawn of a new century that brings with it challenge and new responsibilities. Technology has made our world a much smaller place. It's brought the whole planet together. I know we all enjoy the benefits of having worldwide information at our fingertips, but every morning, we still get to wake up in New Mexico. And that is a privilege in my book. Our traditions here go back five generations or more, back to the time before the word new was in front of Mexico. We are obligated to those traditions because they've helped to make our state a great state. We all want to live in the best state in America. I believe I can help us achieve that goal. That is why I am running for the state senate of New Mexico. And that is why I'm asking for your support. You uh, know a lot of people here? Oh, yeah. A good many. Hmm. Why are you so nervous? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Why don't you show me around? Congratulations, Alex. Well, I think good luck's more in order. So how well do you know Alex? Oh, we grew up together. Hmm. Who's the Hispanic woman on his arm? Well, that's Ava. And that's her mom, Carlotta, and her brother. Her brother is a priest. Yeah. Well, you want to meet him? Later. Hey, Dan, listen, this is us. Sydney. Mm. How are you? I've been looking everywhere for you. You look terrific. Huh. Ooh, did I say something wrong? Well, do you always treat people like this? <laughs> like what? Caleb. <sighs> Hello. Drop dead. Well, I would, but I don't think that my body would reach the floor. <laughs> Who would have ever thought your brother could fill a room? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, you made it. Good, I wouldn't have missed it, I'm man. I'm glad you came, man. That's very nice. Here you go. Alex, this is Sidney Wells. Hi. Alex, good to meet you. Sidney Wells, I know that name. Who's that woman with Caleb? No, she don't. Oh, my what? I saw her checking in. She looks nice, huh? Well, in a Mrs. Robinson kind of way. You don't like her, do you? I don't even know her. No, but you don't like her. Caleb, Ava, can I have Alex for a minute? Sure, he's all yours. Dan told me you might be coming. Well. Dan's a bit of a jerk, although he has said some great things about you, and for once, he wasn't exaggerating. Well, coming from you, that's a heady compliment. Mm -hmm. You've worked on a lot of campaigns, put a lot of people on both sides in office. No, oh, I'm, I'm nonpartisan. I, I go where the power is. I can't afford you. Well, it's not your problem. 
You've uh, grabbed a lot of people's attention, Alex. Power brokers, friends in high places, all eager to throw in with you. The issue with the little girl put you in the national spotlight for a minute and a half. And now it's my job to keep you there. Her name is Angela. And I don't want to make an issue out of what's happened to her. She's an amazing kid. I just want to be able to do something to help her get her life back. Of course you do. So, tell me about Ava. What do you want to know? How you feel about her. I'm in love with her. And if I'm a lucky man, someday she'll be my wife. Perfect. Elitist? Alex, no. No, not even. He's totally down to earth. And he never forgets a friend. His best childhood friend. Caleb. Caleb just got out of prison. And yet, Alex insisted that he be here tonight. Say something, Caleb. How dare you? Ava, could you come with me for just a second? I want you to get some people. Come on. So, can I pick him or what? He's good. Not great, but he will be. I've got big plans for Alex Wyatt. I'm really looking forward to this, Sydney. We are going to knock the state on its ass. Four Corners will continue.